All right, it's RC here. I'm just going to go over the tech and income first in the calendar. Yep. January, July 42, we just finished, and apparently we're unplugging chargers at the same time. Um, 43, we're going to start that in January next turn. Not too much change since last time. America's still 63. Germany's still 54. Russia's down a bit to 48. Japan's at 46. British are at 25. Italy, the creepers are, are up to uh, 12 now for stealing my stuff. Um, <laughs> uh, FEC's still at 10. Japan's creeping me. Um, they also creeped out on the... Uh, Australians, that's why I'm down to six. Um, Vichy's at four. We got a three-way tie between the Dutch, the Free French, and the uh, CCP at three, and KMT still at one. Strangely, I can't figure that out, but there's so many guys. Tech, there's so much going on. I'm just going to give you a slow pan through. I'm not even going to really talk about all of it. If you're really interested, you can see it. There you go. That's the allies in the common turn, and then here is the Axis Tech. I'm just going to slowly pan through it as well. As you can see, the Japanese and the Italians are having the same luck as the British. And might as well be the French. All right. I'm just going to wander around here. So what happened here? Germany went for Russia and took Smolensk. And then Russia vacated Oral Kursk no, no, and no, took Smolensk back. I don't even know what was going on. I just saw two guys rolling mitfuls of dice more than once around. It was a lot of units. And uh, I'm rejoicing in the fact that those units aren't around to kick my ass. So that's great. Um, other than that, I couldn't really tell you who's going to win this one. They both got scads of dudes on both sides. Um, Russia's got a little bit more land forces. But Germany's got a lot more air force, so we'll see wha how this plays out. And Germany, of course, lost its navy last turn. I fluked out, but um, Russia still got its navy up there, so we'll see what they're going to do with that. If they're going to do anything with that, you never know. Um, let's see what else happened. Then after that, the Russians and the. Uh, We've gone this far, you might as well get it exactly. The uh, Japanese had another giant fight over here, and Japan won, but uh, I don't even know. But again, it was guys rolling mitfuls of dice, transports coming in, guys over land. This entire air wing of ridiculousness. There's a two, four, five fighters and four tacticals. So, yeah. The Japanese won, but they took some heavy losses too, so we'll see what goes on. Japan then moved out this ma relatively major fleet here to uh, uh, the line of Solomon, Caroline Islands. There we go. There's too many of these islands, something islands. Um, the uh, Americans were here. They, as a result, backed off to Hawaii with this fleet over here. They're building more, and they got more in the build queue. Um, I've done a little bit of moving around with the British. I'm just trying to uh, get my transports where they can pick stuff up and find some planes. I did a little bit more over here. Finally killed that last German sub over here. The Americans are starting to move across the water with their transports. Nobody's landed anywhere. They're all in the ocean. Um, Italy has consolidated in uh, eastern Egypt. So we're cut. West Eastern Egypt, yeah, I think that's what it's called now, Cairo, the Suez. Um, other than that, not too much major happenings. Those were the general happenings. I'm just going to pan you across the board here. That's the fleet out of London. That is the British force in Paris. And, oh, Mexico got aligned by uh, the Americans. An excellent role. This would be my London stack, and this one here is the, uh, the uh, British Midlands. All right, I think that's more or less it. So uh, hopefully you will enjoy the end of our day two, and we'll be back for 43 tomorrow.